estés con nosotros. Bienvenida. Gracias, Rebeca. Can I start? Ok. Please. So, a very good evening to all who have gathered in the name of Vanilla. And I thank the organizers for honoring me with this invitation to be part of the celebrations of Vanilla from Mexico to the rest of the world. Uh, thank you very much. And um, Dr. Rebecca in particular for honoring me with this. It's a long distance from India to uh, Mexico, but I think Vanilla has made it very close and we have come to close working terms. Hey, muy rápidamente da la bienvenida y las gracias. Se dice que la distancia es eh, grande entre la India y México, pero vainilla sirve para acortarla. Uh, may I take the opportunity to present before you the in vitro techniques that we have uh, worked with and implemented for crop improvement in vanilla. So I'll be taking you through the journey of in vitro techniques for crop improvement in vanilla. Creo que no, no hay este, tanta necesidad aquí, pero este, va a hablar de las técnicas que ha desarrollado sobre cultivo in vitro. So in India and across the globe, what we basically do when we talk about crop improvement is collect the available diversity, which in vanilla basically has different species. We just saw in the previous talk also about the different species that are being conserved. And in India, we have uh, leafless species which are native to India. So we had collected the diversity of leafy as well as leafless collections. We tried to create variability using different methods like seed culture, callus culture, interspecific hybrids, and also somatic hybrids. Now, after creating variability, the best we could do was conserve the entire genetic pool of the diversity available as well as the diversity that was created using in vitro methods. So it was conserved in in vitro gene banks, pollen banks, and DNA banks. Let Aquí us have... Este, habla un poco de la diversidad este, disponible para um, colecciones. Este, que en la, la India hay especies uh, autóctonas este, que no son planifolia y complementan con uh, colecciones de otras partes del mundo. Y luego, este, a través del trabajo en la, en laboratorio, este, la, la creación de variabilidad a través de, de esas técnicas, este, de, de híbridos y de eh, eh, cultivo de semillas. Y finalmente, este, la, 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 la pata de conservación, este, in vitro, este, banco genético, también banco de polen y de ADN. Talking about the genetic resources in India of vanilla planifolia, we have vanilla aphylla, we have vanilla pilifera, and some of the characteristics that are promising when we compare to vanilla planifolia or which could be preferable to be incorporated into vanilla planifolia are the tolerance to disease exhibited by vanilla planifolia Vanilla planifolia was tolerant to Fusarium oxysporum, and Vanilla pilifera was highly fragrant. Another important characteristic that we observed in Vanilla aphylla was it had a longer flower life. We know Vanilla flowers stay for a day, that is for 24 hours or so, and after that it loses its viability. But Vanilla aphylla had its viability for more than 36 hours. 
aquí un poco la, la, las características que buscan este, para este, híbridos. Um, características de áfila, este, tolerancia a cierta este, a plaga, um, pelífera con fragancia intensa y luego este, vieron la, la parte de la, la vida útil de la, de la floración. Entonces, esas son algunas de las características que están buscando para hacer híbridos. These are the Indian vanilla species that I just mentioned. This is vanilla aphylla, and this is vanilla pilifera, very unique with its white pedicel and the longitudinal sections of both the species. Thus, these are the storehouses of some of the promising characters that vanilla planifolia workers would desire to incorporate into planifolia as sources of disease resistance and also because the fragrance invites pollinators and this could facilitate unaided pollination. It is a labor intensive crop because of the pollination and processing. And one of the factors that is pollination could be helped out by this uh, possible self fruit set without being aided. And the longer fruit flower life also ensures more fruit set and the as the flowers stay viable for a longer period. Aquí un poco las características de dos variedades eh, locales de la India eh, en cuanto a la resistencia a, a, a plagas. El tema de la intensidad de la fragancia de la, la flor que podría ayudar a minimizar este, la, la tarea de polinización este, al atraer polinizadores y no requer, eh, requerir de, de polinización manual. Y finalmente, este, la viabilidad eh, eh, comercial eh, dada la, la vida extendida de la, de la flor y que esas características podrían ser interesantes para introducir en planifolia. We had screened our entire collection uh, for disease tolerance or disease uh, resistance reactions against the two most dreaded pathogens, the causal agents of food rot and will diseases, Phytophthora as well as Fusarium. And high degree of variations were observed, as you can see here, to the fungal pathogens. And most of the collections from Mauritius and Madagascar showed re resistance to Phytophthora, the uh, dreaded causal agent of food rot. And when La Andamanica as well as the Mauritius collections were also resistance to, uh, resistant to Fusarium. The Andamanica collections and Mauritius collections were in fact resistant to both the pathogens. And it is here that Vanilla aphylla holds promise as a resistant species, wild species, to fight of Thora. Okay, creo que es bastante claro, pero la, la, nuevamente aquí es este, un, unas especies en particular de Isla Mauricio y Madagascar que demuestran eh, una fortaleza particular en contra de cierto tipo de plaga de tipo roya y, este, y, y de um, eh, hongos, ¿no? Y este, que esos pueden ser, eh, sobre todo, como se exhibe en, uh, en la variedad áfila, esas son este, uh, características igualmente importantes para tomar en cuenta a, a la hora de crear híbridos. An analysis of the phylogeny was also uh, conducted with the sequences, ITS sequences that are available on the public databases. And we could see that aphylla formed a different cluster from the planifolia. And this was also the same when we conducted our uh, DNA profile studies. And we could see that the Andamanica collections formed an entirely different collection or a cluster. And the leafless species formed another cluster, whereas the 
leafy species were in a separate cluster. So definitely this leafy and leafless nature in vanilla is a clearly distinguishing character. Sí, aquí la, la, el análisis de ADN demuestra que hay una caracterización muy, muy distinta entre la, las especies es que con hoja y, y sin hoja. Y claramente se establecen en, en, uh, en clusters muy específicos a, al hacer este, el, el análisis de ADN. Therefore, we tried addressing the uh, common problems that are associated with vanilla breeding programs and sought the help of in vitro techniques for solving each of them. I'll take you to the journey of how we tried solving them. The first problem that vanilla faces is the production of disease-free planting material. And we resorted to micropropagation and synthetic seed production for this. We tried generating diversity because in India, vanilla planifolia is an introduced crop and most of the plantations are a result of monoculture. Therefore, available variability is very less and we try to generate diversity using in vitro cultures for which we harvested the heterozygosity expressed by the seedling progenies as vanilla planifolia is basically heterozygous and also induced somaclonal variations, carried out hybridization experiments between the different species. And after we got the diversity, we try to conserve the diversity in vitro because field gene banks are always prone to natural calamities. As we have seen across the globe, many natural calamities uh, destroy most of our precious collections and also the habitat destruction con contributes to it. And therefore we conserve the diversity generated in in vitro gene banks. For this, we also adopted methods like the slow growth method and also cryopreservation. Climate change is a major problem that all the continents or the earth as a whole is facing. And the pandemic is just another added uh, issue. We know the pollination is affected in vanilla. I, I have read that in Mexico drought is a severe problem during the flowering and pollination season. Similarly, in India, we have different climatic changes and associated flowering pattern changes also. So this affects the fruit set and ultimately produce. Therefore, to con combat the climate change, we also, in addition to the in vitro gene banks, we try to make pollen cryobanks and also store all the genetic material, the gene pool of vanilla as DNA banks and also DNA libraries. So for this, we have cell cultures, we have the uh, synthetic seeds conserved as such. Aquí se cubrió bastante material, pero al lado derecho, básicamente su, su árbol de, 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 de problema y lado izquierdo, este, las... Um, líneas que adoptaron para atender cada uno de lo, los, este, los temas relevantes identificados. Entonces, este, en, en, menciona, por ejemplo, eh, planifolia en el caso de la India es una especie introducida. Entonces, tienen que este, tomar en cuenta la, la falta de variabilidad genética en, en, uh, como uno de los problemas. Este, el segundo, este, uh, segunda isla a mano derecha. Um, y en, en cuanto a, a temas este, como eh, el cambio climático, reconoce, por ejemplo, que este, las colecciones in situ este, están eh, expuestas, obviamente, a, a eventos catastróficos este, de clima. Entonces, adoptan, este, en este caso, eh, el trabajo in vitro y este, los bancos de germoplasma banco de polen y de eh, material eh, genético. Eh, menciona igual que este, está consciente que el tema de sequía en México es un, un factor muy importante este, justo en la época de floración. 
este, que también en la India enfrentan este, um, cambio climático en, en, en uh, el cultivo, entonces están adoptando um, uh, medidas de mitigación de riesgo a través de las actividades a, a mano izquierda. Taking you to the first problem faced by vanilla cultivators is the production of disease-free quality planting material. And we adopted micropropagation to solve this issue. We tried different basal media and we found that the most commonly used Murashiga and Skoog itself uh, promoted good growth. And uh, we also used minimal growth regulators because we did not want the growth regulators to impact on the genetic stability of the cultures. Therefore, we started with kinetin and BA and we could get almost one in is to 50 uh, multiplication rate after the third cycle of micropropagation, as is seen in this, these pictures and the root tips also could be regenerated. Y aquí señala que eh, partiendo de la, um, um, del riesgo identificado de, de contar con eh, plantas libres de enfermedades, este, a, adaptaron um, técnicas de micropropagación este, con, con brotes y también uh, a través de las raíces, que es la la foto este, con fondo azul este, en medio. Y eh, también este, minimizaron el uso de, de reguladores de crecimiento para no sesgar este, la, la, la producción uh, después. After a prolonged period in culture, it is necessary to verify whether the genetic material of the micropropagated vanilla, because it is being influenced by the growth regulators also, remains stable. And we conducted RAPD profiles of the DNA, and we found uh, that the profiles were stable. There were no variations, and therefore this method with a minimal growth regulator could be utilized for large-scale multiplication of quality planting material. Justamente aquí este, con el tema del uso de reguladores de crecimiento, sacaron esos rangos de, de, de o lo, los perfiles de eh, materia genética para comprobar que este, en, en los micropropagos existen el mismo rango de este, materia genética que en, que en este, la, la, la planta control. Entonces, eh, eso fue una, un, una etapa importante. I just missed to say that in this profile, this is the vanilla planifolia, and these are the micropropagated plants which maintain the stability. Claro, el, el número dos es el control, este planifolia, y los demás son este mi, micropropagos. The second aspect was generation of variability. As I mentioned, India faces the problem of lack of variability for meaningful crop breeding program and improvement of vanilla. So as vanilla planifolia is heterozygous, it is basically a cross-pollinated crop. Therefore, we try to generate the seedling progenies and analyze the heterozygosity which was segregating among the seedling progenies. There were a lot of variations and we could get plants, PLVs, protocom like bodies, as well as plants regenerated from them. An analysis of the DNA of such seedling progenies also showed that they were not exactly alike, except a very few, less than 10%, most of them had slight genetic variations among them. So we could develop a heterozygous population. Aquí fue igual un estudio de la, la um, variabilidad este, a través de, de semilla y este, tomando en cuenta que eh, planifolia es heterocigato. Entonces este, encontraron que menos de 10% este, tenía um, 
poca variabilidad y eso es un hallazgo interesante para su, su trabajo. The second aspect that we tried for generating variations was induction of variability through callous induction. As we know, callus is a mass of unorganized but very actively dividing cells. We tried to induce callus from the leaf explants, from the stem explants, and also from the seeds. We could get the actively dividing mass of cells, and then we induce them to regenerate into plantlets. We can see the plantlets regenerating here and the embryo-like structures on them. And these plants were also studied for their cytological stability and their genetic stability through the DNA profiles. Again, we can see that most of the plantlets that were generated through callus also had differences amongst themselves, indicating that this also generated a lot of variability in the, among the regenerated plants. The cytological studies also showed certain abnormalities like lagging of chromosomes, formation of chromosome bridges, etc., among these callus regenerated plants. In este caso, igual para comprobar este con otro método, utilizaron la extracción de, de células de, de um, semilla, hoja, este, tallos y este. Esos fueron regenerados a través de un cultivo de, de, de callo, de calos. Um, y con la, la misma, el mismo análisis al final, este, mostraron que sí, en la mayoría de las plántulas, existe una, una diferenciación genética este, significativa. Entonces es, es eh, importante en ese sentido. All these plantlets that we developed were transferred to field and analyzed for their morphological as well as genetic uh, stability. And we can see the preliminary observation itself shows the variation in the leaf size, leaf shape, the internodal length, the internodal reduction of the internodal length uh, is a great uh, advantage because there may be more number of inflorescences produced per plant. So such differences were seen among the morphological characters of the vanilla progenies that were transferred to field. Y aquí comprobaron en, en cito este, la, nuevamente la variabilidad morfológica y genética. Este, se, pueden, eh, se pueden apreciar variación en el tamaño de la hoja. Este, en uh, los nodos y que puede uh, sugerir igual una reducción en inflorescencia en, en la planta. Entonces puede ser un, una eficiencia mayor este, de productividad. The next aspect that we resorted to to create more variability is to try interspecific hybridization because as I mentioned, in India, we have the wild species Vanilla aphylla, which is resistant to the dreaded disease. Therefore, we tried crossing with Vanilla aphylla as the male parent and Vanilla planifolia as the uh, female parent. We tried introducing the disease resistant character from the wild to the cultivated planifolia. And our results yielded uh, quite uh, a few hybrids, and many of them showed the distinguishing morphological differences even inside the culture tubes. So these variations were visible in vitro itself. They were raised and the characters of leaflessness of the male parent had introgressed into the planifolia. Similarly, once this we were successful with this. We tried hybridizing with the other species like Vanilla pilifera, which I mentioned had the fragrance. And also we observed the frequent visit of pollinators too. And we also hybridized with Vanilla andamanica, which was also resistant to the pathogens. We could successfully uh, generate hybrids and fruit set was uh, well formed. The hybrids 
or the cross pollination led to viable hybrids sí aquí es eh, hibridización este buscando las características específicas utilizando áfila que es este la la especie silvestre um, autóctona de, de la India como macho y, y, y planifolia como hembra y en las plántulas este igualmente se pueden ver que se conservaron este la variabilidad y también este al estudiar este las características se conservaron um, las características deseadas de resistencia a um, enfermedad in vitro y también en, en plántula Igualmente, este, la, la, se puede ver este, eh, un, una característica dominante de, de la, la falta de hoja en algunos de la, las, los híbridos. Y este, en la última, el último cuadrante se ve que son este, híbridos eh, exitosos, viables, digamos, en, eh, in situ, ya, ya plantados. These hybrids were also analyzed for their DNA profiles to uh, ensure whether uh, this hybridity was genetic in nature or only with the morphological features. And we could verify because we see the, these are the seedling progenies, which do not show much difference with the planifolia. And these are the hybrids, which showed the banding pattern a few similar to the mother plant and the others similar to the uh, male parent that is vanilla aphila. Therefore, they were truly hybrid in nature. This was proven by the DNA profiles. Sí, aquí simplemente nuevamente es una, un estudio de ADN que comprueba que los, um, los descendientes, los progenies, um, conservan las características este, tanto de la, la, la planta de la madre como este macho y eh, aquí los controles este, son eh, número 9 y, y 10 y, y se puede ver con las flechas este, las características que con, conservan los híbridos. Further, we went on to do the AFLP profiles and we could generate a lot of DNA data from the AFLP profiles. Here we can see these are the vanilla seedling progenies, which showed minor variations here and then since they were seedling progenies. And these are the interspecific hybrids, which showed many of the banding patterns similar to the male parent, that is vanilla aphila, thereby ensuring that the male characters had integrated into the hybrids. That was the proof of hybridity of the um, crossed or interspecific hybrids. Sí, en, en, es, en este caso el perfil AFLP eh, comprueba nuevamente que la variación genética existe uno en, 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 a través de las semillas y luego en, en, en la, los híbridos este, predominan, pre, predominan perdón, este, las características deseadas del, de la planta la, este, del pariente macho, este, en este caso áfila, ¿no? que son esas características de resistencia a enfermedad. After conducting interspecific hybridizations, by uh, pollination, we tried somatic hybridization because this is a very promising technology when we want to go in for uh, genetic manipulations or genetic engineering aspects. We could successfully isolate protoplasts from two different species. As I mentioned, we need all the promising characters seen in the related species of vanilla to get into vanilla planifolia. And in the interspecific hybridization, I just showed an example with vanilla planifolia. And here with in somatic hybridization, we are showing an example of vanilla endomanica. This is a resistant, this showed resistant reactions to both the pathogens. And visibly the protoplasts were also very distinct 
as we can see the chloroplasts scattered on the peripheral side and in endomanica it is dispersed all around the cell. Therefore, when we tried fusing them using fusogen polyethylene glycol, we could see them coming close together, forming bridges and then getting fused into a heterocarion which had both the chloroplast scattered in the periphery as well as in the central region, proving that it is a heterocarion. Sí, aquí la, la, eh, recorrieron a hibridización somática, eh, ya que la, la tecnología de horizonte prometedora de, de eh, manipulación genética este, eh, pues parte de esta, este proceso. Y en este caso este, señala la, los resultados este, de la tolerancia o característica deseada de andamánica. Y en, en, en las, las fotos de en medio este, se demuestra en el proceso de, de la, eh, el proceso a, a nivel celular, primero de, de, de puente y luego la fusión, integración celular este, de, de las eh, características deseadas y este, fue un, un resultado exitoso. Yeah, so this endomanica had both the favorable or promising characters desirable in vanilla planifolia, the disease tolerance, as well as the natural seed set that was visible in vanilla endomanica. Yeah, so it's relevant for the, o sea, la, la, el resultado demuestra que se puede introducir esas características favorables o deseables in planifolia. The next aspect, so we tried assessing the germplasm, multiplying them in large numbers through micropropagation, creating variations through different methods, and then conserving the variations that were created in in vitro gene banks. So all the species that we had, we tried conserving them, multiplying them first, and then extending the multiplication protocol to induce slow growth in the cultures so that they can be conserved in vitro. These are cultures of vanilla aphylla, these are cultures of whiteiana, and these are cultures of filifera and antimanica growing in in vitro gene banks. Y aquí este son imágenes de la, del banco in vitro, precisamente multiplicación de las especies eh, en casos de especies amenazadas o en peligro. Este, una multiplicación masiva y luego en um, condiciones de crecimiento lento in vitro para conservarlas y tuvieron éxito. And this is the view of the in vitro gene bank where the vanilla accessions, the species, the collections, the hybrids and all were conserved in one place. And the two methods that we adopted for conservation was one was by slow growth, inducing slow growth, by manipulating the temperature, the light, the media supplements, uh, incorporating growth retardants into the media. And the second method that we adopted was cryopreservation, wherein we used ultra low temperatures and the uh, tissue was stored under minus 196 degrees Celsius liquid nitrogen. At that temperature, literally the metabolic processes are brought to a standstill and the cell division stops and the cell but remains in a live condition. So these are the two broad methods that we adopted for conservation of the germplasm in in vitro gene banks. Aquí es la foto de su, este, su banco y eh, adoptaron dos um, Técnicas o mecanismos para la micropropagación y conservación in vitro. Este, la um, primera, eh, la um, técnica de, de crecimiento lento, utilizando, manipulando temperatura, luz este, y el uso de retardantes de, de, de crecimiento. Um, y eso para um, el término medio, ¿no? De, de, de uno o cuatro años. Y para 
periodos mayores de este, conservación a temperatura este, eh, muy, muy baja que este, eh, para el proceso metabólico este, de, la, de la especie. The first aspect that we tried was inducing slow growth in the cultures. As we, I mentioned, we had species, we had the seedling progenies, we had the callus regenerated plants, you know. So these could be maintained uh, for one year or more without any subculture. That's why we tried manipulating the growth media. And so that otherwise it would become very labor intensive and we could see the slow growth of the planifolia that normally used to grow like this would be reduced to a slower growth. So the cultures were maintained like that. And the second one was slow growth. And the second method was we tried to make artificial seeds or synthetic seeds, which offers us a very promising technology where you can encapsulate the tissue that we have standardized a protocol for regeneration and the tissue was encapsulated in sodium alginate beads and these could be regenerated into shoot buds or protocoms when, whenever it was needed. So these systems actually assure us a very safe uh, method of germplasm exchange also and um, in the usual germplasm exchange has the quarantine and other laborious processes but if we go through this method, all the material is already disease-free and it is handy, occupies very less space also. This is, this is the promise of uh, in vitro method of germplasm conservation. Um, entonces, este, en cuanto a la, a la técnica de crecimiento eh, lento, este, utilizaron procesos este, de, de intervención del del sustrato o del, del, del medio. Um, y eh, en la foto a mano derecha arriba se ve este, el efecto del, del crecimiento lento en, uh, en, en planifolia. Um, y también utilizaron una técnica de semillas sintéticas a través de la encapsulación del, de los tejidos este, cultivados in vitro y eso es este, um, el, el, el primer bloque de crecimiento lento este, son nuevamente para eh, mediano plazo y en caso de las semillas este, sintéticas eh, puede ser para más largo plazo porque se pueden conservar en, en, uh, en frío este, absoluto, ¿no? En, 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 en crío. Y lo que señala es que estos métodos son um, muy um, como lo, lo, los eh, tejidos y um, las semillas son libres de, de enfermedades y de patógenos. Son sistemas muy seguros y también son sistemas de conservación que no ocupan mucho espacio físico. Y son muy útiles para tanto conservación como intercambio de los recursos genéticos. The material that was stored for a very long time in cultures also leads to the scare of whether the genetic fidelity is changed or whether it gets evolved. So the genetic fidelity analysis was also done using RAPD analysis and uh, both for both aphylla as well as planifolia. This shows the results of aphylla as well as planifolia. And it was assuring to see that the genetic fidelity of the conserved plants remained stable even after years of conservation in vitro. And this is the cryopreservation of the seeds or artificial seeds or synthetic seeds which were stored under liquid nitrogen for uh, a long period that is a long-term conservation method and which could be regenerated upon requirement so there was always a two storage system one an active gene bank and the other was the base gene bank the base gene bank wouldn't be disturbed 
unless and until there is an exhaustion in the active gene bank. Y aquí habla de la, los estudios que realizaron para comprobar la fidelidad genética de, de las, um, del material conservado este, utilizando RAPD um, y uh, comprueban este, los estudios que uh, no hay una degradación de la fidelidad genética uh, a pesar del, del periodo de conservación uh, por un lado en, en, in vitro y en el caso de, de las semillas eh, sintéticas, es un este, método que se puede eh, reactivar la, la plántula este, como si fuera semilla. Y eh, este sistema de la, los dos este, métodos contribuye a la, a la seguridad de largo plazo de la, del material genético. Este, y en el caso de, la, de las semillas este, conservadas en, en uh, nitrógeno líquido, eh, es como un, una, pues una salvaguarda adicional que se puede reactivar en casos de emergencia, ¿no? de una pérdida eh, fulminante de alguna especie. Along with the uh, conservation in vitro, of the shoot or vegetative parts, the alternative was development of a coal, pollen cryobank, wherein pollen was stored or cryopreserved for use in hybridization experiments, as well as for the preservation of the haploid gene pool. This offers us both the advantages. We are able to conserve the haploid gene pool as well as overcome the problem of asynchronous flowering between the different species. As we know, the different species uh, sometimes flower at different times and that hampers the interspecific hybridization programs. The flowering, the climate changes uh, also affect the flowering patterns and this could be used to combat such a problem in vanilla breeding programs. Therefore, the pollen from different species were cryopreserved and then utilized for interspecific hybridizations also. So we had to do the viability tests before and after cryopreservation and utilize it for affecting uh, hybridization. We could get the fruit sets also. Therefore, this is a viable technology for conserving pollen in vitro. Aquí el tema es la crioconservación de, de polen este, para conservar el, el, el polen genético haploide y también este, como una, un mecanismo para resolver o mitigar el, el, el tema de la floración asincrónica. Este, y se, se piensa que puede ser un, una... Eh, mitigación de riesgo de cambio climático también, ya que los cambios están influyendo en el ciclo de, de floración. Entonces, este, contar con el, el polen en crioconservación eh, puede servir para mitigar ese riesgo. Y en las fotos, este, nuevamente se demuestra el, eh, la, la utilización del polen este, ya fuera de la, de la conservación en frío este, y eh, lograron polinizar exitosamente este, la planta que está a mano derecha abajo. The cryobanks is a big solution for vanilla programs which can unite the breeding programs across the globe as any species flowering anywhere can be conserved, the pollen can be conserved in cryobanks, and this will help us or facilitate the supplementary pollination and thereby improve the yields also. The problem of asynchronous flowering and the climate changes affecting the flowering pattern will not affect the production, sustainable production of vanilla anymore. And also helps us to study the compatibility, self incompatibility among the different species too, or the evolution pattern. Y aquí nuevamente este, señala que la, los bancos de, de polen este, pueden servir 
como un puente para programas de, de vainilla en, en todo el mundo al facilitar este, el proceso de, de polinización, hibridización um, y que es un, un um, componente suplementario uh, de mucha utilidad uh, ante el, el cambio climático por lo que mencionó de la exploración asincrónica. Thus put together, this is the total conservation strategy that can be adopted for vanilla germplasm conservation. Starting from micropropagation, where we need to develop a multiplication strategy because we need large number of plantlets for conservation as well as for the uh, farming or planting requirement. After uh, multiplying them, we take the shoot buds or shoot tips and induce slow growth in them so that they can be conserved in the in vitro gene bank safe from the natural calamities as the field banks are subject to different types of natural calamities. And I hear the Vera Cruz is also losing many of the species that, that were so endemic to that area. And therefore, this sort of a gene bank will help to conserve or create an alternate set of genes in vitro, safe from all these. The smaller plantlets where, or the plantlets or the other tissues can be uh, conserved in pollen gene banks, and also the DNA can be conserved in DNA gene bank, and the stability analysis has to be con conducted periodically to ensure that the genetic stability of the conserved material is maintained. And then we can transfer to field, as per the requirements. So whenever a requirement arises, the cryopreserved material can also be thawed and brought back to multiply. Aquí es donde confluyen eh, los, los diferentes componentes de, de conservación in vitro, eh, desde las técnicas de, de micropropagación este, de plántulas, conservación in vitro con crecimiento lento, la conservación de, de polen, este, la, el seguro, digamos, de crioconservación, eh, señala que hay que hacer periódicamente el análisis de la estabilidad genética para estar seguro que este, lo, los, eh, el, el, se mantiene estable la, el material genético. Y este, igual menciona que el conjunto de esos instrumentos puede ser muy importante para casos. Este, menciona que está consciente de que hay um, riesgo de pérdida de especies en, en, um, en uh, variedades en, en Veracruz y que ese tipo de estrategia um, integral puede servir para reintroducir en su momento um, genes que han estado en salvaguarda. Therefore, I wish to put it that these technologies can be utilized to address the changing ecosystem of vanilla because we know in the past there were more number of producers and the awareness of the consumers were much less and therefore the need or the demand of vanilla was met with easily. But in the present conditions, the consumers are more, they outnumber the producers. The producers are coming lesser and lesser because it is a labor intensive crop as well as the habitat or the land is being utilized for urbanization, etc. So now the consumers outnumber the producers and therefore the pyramid has sort of inverted itself. Therefore, for the future, for a sustainable vanilla cultivation and production, we need to integrate these technologies to overcome the problems in vanilla and also to adopt the in vitro gene bank system as a safe alternative to conserve the gene pool of vanilla. A global consortium is always welcome for the conservation of vanilla. 
Sí, aquí señala que pues antes la, la demanda de, de consumidor este, era mucho menos del número de productores y como ahora la demanda comercial es mucho mayor y consumidores también este, más informados y hay menos, eh, hay menos productores este, por varios motivos, este, el cambio de uso de suelo, urbanización, eh, pérdida de, de los ecosistemas este, eh, donde cultivan vainilla y por lo tanto hay que tomar en cuenta estrategias hacia el futuro, este, entre ellas la adopción de, de tecnologías, este, el, la utilización de los sistemas in vitro como un, una alternativa eh, segura y libre de, de patógenos y de, de enfermedades y eh, invita, invita aquí a eh, las bondades de un consorcio global para conservación de, de vainilla. And analyzing the threats and uh, the strengths or the opportunities that vanilla crop offers the growers, we know that there are many threats, the chemical mimics industry is the biggest ever growing threat and the climate change, but these can easily be turned into strength because the chemical mimic doesn't match the unique flavor that vanilla planifolia offers. And as Dr. Perez was mentioning about the uh, intricate and delicate flavor of vanilla planifolia that makes it so unique and unmatched will ever be in demand. Um, so this is a wonder crop and the climate change or the land use pattern should not affect the cultivation because it is an intercrop. It can easily adapt in between an existing plantation. So that are some of the threats which can be converted into our strengths. And the weaknesses is, as always mentioned, a labor intensive crop because of the pollination aspects, because of the processing aspects. But this also assures employability to thousands of farmers across the globe. Therefore, this weakness is actually creating an opportunity. Aquí el análisis de, de amenazas y, y fortalezas y oportunidades señala que las amenazas se pueden convertir fácilmente en, en, en fortalezas. Um, menciona, por ejemplo, en el caso de, de la presentación de la doctora Pérez, um, ese conjunto de aromas tan exquisitos este, siempre van a tener de planifolia siempre van a tener una demanda. Entonces, este eh, es una fortaleza del, del, de la, para la demanda. Es un cultivo que se puede inter, intercalar con uh, otros cultivos in situ. Entonces, este, no necesariamente monocultivo. Y la, si bien es una, un cultivo, este intensivo de, de, de mano de obra, eh, la fortaleza es que eh, genera empleo, obviamente, y genera empleo en el campo. Entonces, este, es un, una gran oportunidad para lograr un ciclo virtuoso. And as we know, it is a crop that assures year-long employment opportunities, but the climate change is going to create a ruffle in the usual timings. As I mentioned in the beginning, the drought conditions that affect some parts during the flowering season affects the final fruit production or vanillin production. And that creates a terror among the growers. But this is going to remain. Aquí señala que la, el, el ciclo de, de productividad este, pues, se da lugar a lo largo de todo el año. Entonces, este, eh, no es necesariamente empleo estacional. 
Y por el otro lado, eh, aquí sí eh, impacta mucho el cambio climático en forma de sequías, este, eh, sobre todo en la etapa de floración, que eh, finalmente afecta la, la producción al final. Entonces es un tema que hay que eh, tomar en cuenta. Y un poco entiendo de ese comentario, este, se relaciona con las técnicas que mencionó en las eh, láminas anteriores de poder resolver es, esas interrupciones en el ciclo a través de las tecnologías que han desarrollado. Therefore, we need to utilize the new techniques for two major aspects. One is to improve the livelihoods of vanilla farmers who have been depending or who have been farming vanilla from ancient times, and also to improve the quality of vanilla or the produce as such. The emerging trends, research trends show the different medical aspects or benefits of vanilla and these have to be promoted so that it is in, in addition to being a sought after flavor, it is also sought after for medicinal purposes. Dr. Perez's talk was very inspiring in that, that aspect. Eh, aquí menciona este, para la utilización de las nuevas técnicas deben estar enfocadas hacia eh, mejorar los medios de vida de, de los productores y aumentar la calidad del producto. Y menciona de igual este, que hay to, que, que tomar en cuenta las eh, tendencias emergentes o de horizonte de, de investigación. Este, como no solo el, el aroma, sino el uso del, de vainilla este, eh, para condiciones crónicas, este, uso medicinal. Y mencionó en ese sentido que la presentación de doctora Pérez fue muy inspirante en ese, en el, inspirador en ese aspecto. Therefore, to conclude with what I felt, about vanilla cultivation across the world can be in, categorized into three aspects. One is taking care of the vanilla health initiatives. The second is incorporation of technology into it. And the third is global adoption, adoption of the improvement measures that are available. In the health initiatives, the programs that are needed to make the cultivation farmer-centric and a support system so that sustainable vanilla cultivation is maintained. And for this, we would need organic certification procedures also. Goes without saying that the supply of quality planting material remains the foundation. In the second aspect where technology can be incorporated, there are two major aspects, as we always say, a labor intensive crop we can think of mechanizing the pollination process to some extent with the use of drones. This can be used for pollination as well as, well as for genetic manipulation by using pollen that has been mod genetically modified. The second aspect is biofortification of food with vanilla. As I just mentioned, because of its numerous medical applications, a pain reliever, an antidepressant, and also correcting the sleep disorders in babies, as Dr. Perez mentioned. So if these are incorporated or fortified, the normal common man's food can be biofortified with vanilla. That would come a big way. And for these also, what we need is a continuous supply of quality planting material so that vanilla production is never affected. The third aspect is a global adoption of all the improvement measures like going in for genetic manipulations and making modified vanilla, genetically modified vanilla, incorporating the different biotechnological methods that are available for crop improvement and assuring that nothing is lost 
none of the genes or the entire genome of vanilla is safely conserved in in vitro gene banks. This also goes without saying that we need healthy vanilla and a supply of good quality planting material. So in all aspects, the presence of quality planting material is needed to sustain the vanilla production across the globe. Aquí el panorama global este, de, de, de tres este, columnas de la iniciativa de eh, salud de vainilla, las eh, tecnologías incorporadas y luego adopción a nivel global, global de, de ciertas medidas. En, en el, la primera columna eh, es una, un llamado muy claro a a que la, los productores tienen que estar en el centro de las estrategias este, para apoyar la, el aspecto de, de, de cultivo. Um, en la um, adopción de tecnologías, y, y menciona que igualmente este, pues hay, hay que contar con más mecanismos de certificación, por ejemplo, eh, orgánica. Uh, y y el, el constante en los tres es la, el material genético de, de, del, del cultivo. En la parte de adopción tecnológica, este, pues, menciona la posibilidad de mecanización uh, del proceso de polinización, a lo mejor a través de, de drones, um, como el caso de reforestación masiva que se han utilizado y eh, explorar eh, esas posibilidades de biofortificación de alimentos utilizando los, eh, las propiedades medicinales de vainilla. Este, por, citó la presentación de la doctora Pérez para el tema de, de apnea. Eh, menciona la calidad antidepresiva también de, de, de vainilla y que eh, Alimentos fortificados podrían ser este, una, un mecanismo importante eh, para impulsar el consumo. Y finalmente, a nivel global, este, habla de la necesidad de, de adoptar eh, las eh, técnicas de manipulación genética y del uso de, de variedades eh, mejoradas junto con esquemas de conservación para que no se pierda nunca eh, material genético este, y tener un este, sistema de, de resguardo de semilla, de ADN y de polen en, 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 en bancos. So this was all to assure you that there's no technological reason for vanilla to become endangered. We have all the technologies. No hay ninguna reason tecnológica para que la vanilla se ponga en peligro. Am I right? I'm not sure. I've tried to convey the message in Spanish itself. And Esperando India International de la Vanilla. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias.